Alrighty, let's take a look at this transmission here. So the motor is going to spin this main drive shaft, and the differential here is locked. So the drive shaft is going to spin the differential and, and this first gear at the same rate. They're locked together. And that will spin the, the whole thing with the main drive shaft. So that gives us our, our one to one output. Uh, it, the differential is also going to spin this other shaft, but uh, this blue gear here is not attached to the drive shaft, so that can just spin freely. For low gear, this blue gear is now locked, so it, it is attached to the main drive shaft. The differential can now spin on the drive shaft, but this first gear is still this first gear inside the differential is still attached to that main drive shaft, so that will rotate this second gear in the final gear here, and our blue gear here is going to go to the outside and come back in on the differential right here on the little gear and those two combined are going to give us that 10 to 1 ratio. So about this point in the video I realized how dumb I am. This thing is reducing the speed to the output by 10 times but it's definitely not increasing the torque by 10 times. So that means we're losing some power here and uh, and it's bad. The whole thing's bad. It's just really bad. So let me we are increasing the torque a little bit here, so if I turn this clutch gear on the input side, you can see that I can still spin the output. It's turning that other clutch on the output side just fine, so we do have a little bit more torque, but if I hold both of these clutch gears on the output side, the input side is going to start to slip. So we haven't doubled the torque, and the reason for that we're spinning the, the differential the opposite direction that the input's putting power into the system. So it's uh, reducing the speed, but we're not gearing anything down really. So that's a problem. So what I'm going to do instead to try to salvage this thing is I'm going to reverse this differential and put a larger 16 tooth gear uh, connecting to back to the differential there. So when this is switched, it's actually going to gear up. So our output speed is going to be just over two times the input speed. That should fix our problem. This will probably necessitate gearing down after the transmission. Okay. I think that's all better now. You know, I don't like that idea either. The whole point of this transmission is to have a large gear ratio change in between the high gear and the low gear. So what I'm going to do here, or what I did here, is I basically flipped the whole thing around, added this little eight tooth gear, and now we're going to have about a five to one on the outside, and we're going to have a one to one straight through. We'll cover this limited slip differential in the next video. Thanks for watching.